Let me first begin by sharing with the Biloxi community how thankful we are for the outstanding support that we receive from all facets of our community. Uh, we've gotten off to a great start this school year uh, with staff, students, with teachers and the like. And uh, we realize how important that the community plays in our vital role of educating students throughout, the, uh, throughout Biloxi. We will continue to ask for your support and uh, we're very excited about a recent uh, release of an A rating yesterday of accountability from the state of Mississippi. So we've, Biloxi again is an A rated school district. We're very, very, very pleased about that. Uh, just a few highlights about that A rating is that um, Biloxi is in the top 10, uh, number seven in the state of Mississippi. And uh, our junior high school, uh, it's grades seven and eight, uh, is the top junior high school on, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and that takes care of the entire six county area. We also rank um, above state averages in all of our test areas, and we're very pleased with that. Uh, having an A rating makes a lot of difference in basically how people perceive in the school district. But we need to give credit where credit is due, and that's due to uh, a, a strong administration in the past, and also to but to students, faculty, and to principals and administrators at the building level because they're the ones that basically have made all the difference in the, in the state rating. And uh, it's, it's unique for Biloxi because of its many, many different cultures. Uh, presently, we have over 14 different languages, uh, foreign languages spoken in, in the Biloxi School District. And to, to assimilate those kind of test scores with that diversity of students makes a tremendous difference in the way that basically we look at things. We're at Nichols Pre-K School. We have six pre-K classrooms of uh, three-year-olds out here at Nichols, and that's about 120 students. And uh, it's the top pre-K school on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and we're very, very excited about it. And Ms. Nance and her staff here at Nichols have done a fine and outstanding job. Also on Schedule 2 is a tremendously new fine arts building that will be built out there on the Bluxy High School campus. And uh, it's about $14 million it's going to cost us, but it will house all of our programs like band, chorus, fine arts, drama, and uh, much. And it will seat almost a thousand uh, people. So we're on, that's on schedule and it should be ready probably, we hope, by June of 2020. Biloxi is considered one of the very finest places uh, in the state of Mississippi when it comes to dealing with fine arts and, and the like. One of the most exciting things that we've done this year is that we have, at Biloxi High School, we have begun what we call a 30 plus club. That's for students who have scored 30 or above on the ACT. A perfect score on the ACT is 36. And for a student to receive a 30 on an ACT is an outstanding accomplishment. Uh, not, it's not only a credit to them, it's to their families, to the school district and the like. And we have approximately 50 students right now that have scored 30 or above that we're recognizing in a very, very special way. We've taken pictures of each one of these students and they will be uh, presented in banners that will be uh, on each of our flag uh, light poles throughout the district. Uh, as you drive through Biloxi High School, you see a lot of banners that are hung up because of athletes and cheerleaders and the like, and they're very important too. But we have a strong emphasis in Biloxi on academics, and we think that we recognize the 30 club, 30 plus club, it would be even better for all of our students. And we're very, very excited about that. And uh, those banners should be going up in the very near future, and the banner will stay up there the entire length of time that the student is enrolled in, in the Biloxi School District. As many of you are aware, I'm serving in an interim capacity as superintendent for the Biloxi School District, and I feel very honored to, about uh, being able to assume that role to help the school district and help the community out. The board presently is undergoing a superintendent search, and they have uh, received information from um, stakeholders such as administrators, uh, see, uh, people housed at the uh, central office, uh, teachers, community people, and uh, principals throughout the district. And so, uh, and people can also go online and basically make their comments known about what they would like to see in a superintendent. Uh, once they uh, receive all that information, the Mississippi School Boards Association, who is conducting the search, will compile and put it all together 
bring back a brochure for the board to approve. And then once the board approves the brochure and uh, the announcement of the application, they will send it out. And for approximately four to five weeks, they will take names of individuals that might be interested in becoming superintendent of Biloxi. And then the board will receive those names and then they will begin the process of interviewing. So this, it's kind of a, uh, it's, a, it's a long process and it takes a lot of this, but it's a very, very important position here in, in the school district and uh, also in the community. And so it's very important. So we hope that we're going to be able to receive, you know, a good quality of applicants that would be, want to be superintendent in Biloxi.